Ooh, it's time to hunt for shiny Galarian Ponyta. But I'm actually feeling a bit lazy today because I'm not going to head out as it's raining rather heavily now. So I'm just going to receive raid invitations from my friends and do whatever race around me, all right, guys? So hi, hi to all of you guys. Anyway, let's go ahead to start with this. Shiny check. Alright, my friend sent me a red invitation. And yeah, we took down the uh, Ponyta in 7 seconds. Okay, let's see that. <sighs> so sad, guys. It's really, really sad. You guys want to know why? Well, I'll show you guys my um, <laughs> Pokedex count for the Ponyta. To give you guys a more accurate uh, figure, we will take a look at the Candy XL right now. Which I'm at 314 Candy XL for the Ponyta. Yeah. And we're going to take a look at the Pokedex. Though it's not that accurate to see the numbers because... Uh, yeah. Um, it still consists of the non-Galarian Ponyta, the Kanto Ponyta also. Yeah, don't take a look at this, alright. It has been registered into the Pokedex for the Shiny Ponyta because, uh, you know, you actually can see the Galarian Shiny Ponyta once you have gotten the other form of it. <sighs> Let me show you guys. Ponyta and Shiny! Yeah, I do not have it. After more than 100 raids, okay, I have done more than 100 raids in the last, I think, 3 or 4 days and I've not gotten it yet. Let me put myself online first, alright, so that I can, uh, you know, uh, notify my friends to send me raid invitations. Yeah, somebody just sent me a raid invitation. I missed that. Actually, that was the one that I just did. Uh-huh, and we got a Pancham raid also. Nice. So another egg is hatching in a few seconds time, that pink egg, and we got two more over there. Like I said, I'm not gonna head out because I'm a bit lazy today. Let me see, it just hatched. Trotty. Anyway, we're gonna do Pancham raids also, but I'm gonna show you guys my Pancham collection so far. I've traded away a lot of Panchams to Antique Gladys, including the Ponita also. So the Ponita count in my storage wouldn't be accurate, neither would the Pancham count be accurate also. Yeah, but I want to show you guys that I've actually gotten myself like 3, 98% if I'm not mistaken. Um, uh, okay, it should be this one. This should be 98, yep. 15, 14, uh, 15. Um, two more. Actually, it's not 98, it is 96 actually. Uh, 15, 15, 13. Yep. And this is the one that I said is another 98. So I got two 98% pen champs and one 96% pen champ, but I've not gotten the hundo yet. Yeah, after doing like a crazy number of raids, as you guys can see that uh, I've gotten a total of 64 candy XL, you know. And pen champ, because it is not a second stage or third stage evolution Pokemon, you're not guaranteed to get the candy XL when you catch it from the raids. Since it's a stage one Pokemon, similarly for Ponyta, you're not going to get the candy XL guaranteed when you catch it. Unless it is Rapidash, but uh, yeah, I've not gotten the shiny yet, uh, as you guys can see. And I've gotten myself like uh, three uh, Hando Ponita in the Galarian form. So wow, okay, and a few, uh, I mean one Rapidash or so, that's not the you know Galarian form. So I guess we're going to do a Pencham raid, and I guess we're going to do a Xerneas raid or so, since it just has. I'll do the Xerneas raid first, since there'll be people in that raid lobby. And... Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen, seen my Twitter though, uh, but uh, <laughs> I'm technically done with Xerneas. Uh, despite me complaining so much about it having a poor stats, it getting nerfed, and also having like really poor <sighs> moveset, I've gotten myself six handles. Alright, I've not gotten enough Candy XL to power it up because I've spent my time, you know, raiding Pancham and also Bonitas instead of this deer that I didn't have the time to actually um, raid Xerneas. So my Candy XL ain't going up that, you know, quickly. And we got a raid invitation that I just missed, but it's fine. It also, um, it's not going to be possible for me to enter that raid lobby for the Xerneas because it's left with like less than 10 seconds, but it's okay. We're going to enter this particular one and it looks like everybody has already gone into the raid, but um, I will invite my friends. It's okay. Oh, well guys. <laughs> yeah, I had to collect, yeah, this puzzle from yeah the delivery guy and while collecting that i also had to fight the xerneas so let's go ahead and see if it's a handle 
Wow, it's 30 CP away from the handle. Well, we will catch it while we um, check this out. I actually bought myself a vacuum cleaner. Yeah, because uh, my place is rather dusty and uh, sweeping it doesn't um, help that much. So, come on. Yeah, we got a vacuum cleaner. Not that I'm here to advertise anything to you guys, but that's why I didn't want to go out. Yeah, because it's raining also, like I said. Oh my god. The rain actually subsided after the last clip. But then, it picked up and right now it's getting even heavier. So it looks like uh, I'll be staying uh, indoors for today to catch this zernias with you guys. Okay, it's going to be great throw. Awesome. You know, I actually do feel like going out. But with the weather like this, it makes me feel rather lazy. But it's okay, we still caught the zernias. Yeah, let's go ahead to do the pen champ raid. Okay, looks like we got an Esper raid over there. That's not what I want. But sure, we'll take it. Anyway, I need to clear my item back also it's full. Hang on. Alright guys, we just took down the pen champ with my friends. Really awesome. And it is not a hundo. Yeah, 850 is Hundo for the non-weather boosted. The weather boosted is 1060. I mean, it'd be nice to get a Hundo, Pangoro. And you need to catch 32 duck type Pokemon as it being your buddy Pokemon to actually evolve it, which kind of sucks actually. Yeah, so we got a raid invitation. Yeah, we missed that. I just saw that I got a Ponita, but it's okay. Yeah, we got two eggs hatching later. I mean tier 5. Ah, it's okay, we will do the Togetic. I'm also still doing Togetic raids by the way. And also there's the Mega Venusaur that I would do also. Because I want to get Candy XL to power up, you know, my uh, Toge Kiss. Okay, so I will do that. I'll send great invitations to my friends also. Some of them they want to do also, man. Well, anyway guys, even though it's raining heavily right now and it really sucks, I'm sure it doesn't suck as good as this vacuum cleaner. Yeah, awesome, man. I've taken everything out from the box But it's also time to um, take a look at this Togetic Obviously it's not shiny Yeah, and uh, 939 uh, doesn't seem too good But I'll catch it for XL Candy I'm done with the whole entire thing, I need to Trash that later Alright guys, awesome, we caught the Togetic uh, Yeah, let me show you guys my Candy XL 255 and I have already maxed one out, remember? I still want to max my Togepi. Anyway, there are like a lot of accessories that I can use like, oh my god, which is cool I guess. And this is the one for the floor I suppose so. Yeah, and uh, yeah. Then, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, okay, cool. For light also, Ooh. all right. Um, more raids guys. Let's see what do we have around us. Uh, we we'll do I guess the Mega Venusaur. There's no like Ponita around me. I mean the rain is subsiding. But it subsided for a while just now and then it started raining again. So I'll see what's gonna happen. Yeah, I guess I'll head on out right now since I've gotten my delivery. Nice, right? Actually, that's the reason why I wanted to stay back. I was waiting for the delivery guy actually. Yeah, so I, th I think I can head on out soon. And this is how you multitask, guys, by playing Pogo and doing house chores at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'll be doing this instead of going out. But I think the rain has subsided. So I'll be heading on out after I'm satisfied with uh, the cleaning. Alright, guys, you guys know what? We're gonna fail this raid. Both of my friends are using heat rents. I do not know why. Yeah, we're not even at half health. Alright, with 138 seconds left. Guys, please use something stronger. There's no way you can beat it with heat rent. Heat rent sucks. But not as good as the vacuum cleaner. The vacuum cleaner sucks better. Mm -hmm. Anyway guys, I think the vacuum cleaner is out of battery so um, I need to charge it. But you guys can see all the lint, all the dust. Ah. All this sucked up in uh, less than 5 minutes. Yeah, I need to clean more, man. <laughs> Guys, we're gonna fail this. 
We just hit red with 60 seconds left. You need to be red with like around 75 seconds left in order to, you know, be able to take it down. So it's not gonna work. Especially uh, <laughs> when hit rents are being used. <sighs> so okay guys, I'll call for re more reinforcements. Well guys, we finally managed to take down the Mega Venusaur with another of my friend joining me. Thank you very much Lars for joining. Yeah, but also I think they realized that, oh, they're not going to take it down if they were to use, you know, <laughs> heat rents. So, um, while my vacuum cleaner is charging uh, and I can't do anything right now, looks like we are just going to raid all the way without uh, doing any other things. Actually, no, I can do other things. I'll just check my messages. Alright, we caught the uh, Venusaur. Nice, we got to connect the ball plus. The ball plus fainted. Somebody sent me a raid invitation. But it's fine, we missed that. Red invitation and we got a 5km egg that's hatching. We hatched an EV. Don't forget, Sylvia will be out, out soon on the 18th of May. You can get us. No, not 18th of May. Um, that's Ivalto. Sylvia is out on the 25th of May. Yes, 25th of May. Hopefully, if we were to work together to get, you know, the. Rewards done and completed, uh, but looks like there ain't any other raids around me right now. I have to wait for those pink eggs to hatch. And I think those last three pink eggs will be the last ones that I'll be doing with you guys, uh, other than if uh, we are lucky enough to get a raid invitation from my friends. Okay, because like I said, uh, it's still raining. <laughs> it's okay, no worries. Um, I'm gonna head on out after I've completed the video. But we still got a few eggs that are hatching. Including this 2km egg, so let's see what it is. And we got a whooper. Maybe I should go and eat Burger King later. I've not eaten fast food for I do not know how long. Yeah. That's an indication. Maybe I should go and eat Burger King for today. Just for today. We got Torchic. Nice. We got, we got more Candy XL. And uh, I guess I want more Candy XL for Torchic because the Shadow Torchic is coming. Which means we can get Shadow Blaziken. And Shadow Blaziken, according to my calculation, will be the number one fire type attacker in terms of DPS. If I'm not mistaken, if I remember correctly, it surpasses even Motress. Shadow Motress. Yeah, I might be wrong. Uh, I can't really remember, but definitely. Thank you very much, bro, for the ultra friend. You need to get Blast Burn on your Shadow uh, Blaziken for it to be the number one fire type attacker in terms of DPS. That's if I'm not mistaken, if my memory serves me right. After I did the calculation. So anyway, um, we're going to wait for more raid invitation. I'll wait for those eggs to hatch. Oh, you guys know what? We can raid a Dratini. Yeah. Nice. Dratini! Not shiny. I don't think it's Hando, so... But it's okay. Let's fast catch it. Let's see what we get. Okay. Oh, no. We lost it. Oh, it's still there. Six seconds left to despawn. Can I get it back? Okay, no no more fast catch. Okay. <laughs> okay, that was a stupid move by me. I still want the candy XL, so I'm gonna guarantee to try and catch it, okay? Nice! We actually caught it. Did we get an XL candy from it? Mm, no. That's so sad. It's okay, I'll keep it. Let's see, what's the IB? Oh my. Okay, guys, I had no other choice. There's a fly gone around me, so I'll do it. Alright, obviously it's not shiny, but... You know, I know that there are people out there who are, you know, trying to get the Candy XL for Flygon, for Trapinch. Yeah, because I understand that uh, <laughs> Purified Trapinch, 100% IV, um, level 50 wouldn't surpass 1,500 uh, CP. That would be eligible for the Great League. And we've returned since it's a Purified Trapinch. Actually, it's quite decent, you know, with much Shot also. And I believe Centum, yeah, if I'm not mistaken. And for Shadow Vibrava, also the second stage evolution of Trapinch, yeah, people are also trying to get it with Dragon Breath. Yeah, Shadow, you know, Dragon Breath Vibrava, it will not surpass 1,500 CPS level 50. Yeah, that's, those two are the Pokemon that, you know, some people are looking at and they want to get Candy XL for it. I've been receiving a lot of, you know, Raid invitations for Flygon. I was wondering like, why? Why are they doing like Flygon? I mean, I do any raids for, you know, whatever purpose. And also, I normally take the raid invitation uh, from overseas to trade with Auntie Gladys to get Candy XL for herself. 
So I do anything, especially when it's from overseas. But I was wondering, like, why so many of my friends have sent me, you know, the red invitation for Flygon until I, you know, went deep into it and I studied it and I was like, oh, okay. So there's a reason why they actually, um, you know, trying to get it. And the irritating thing about Flygon is that it looks rather easy to catch. But to be honest, I actually hate catching this more than catching legendary Pokemon. Like, seriously, you guys can see I'm like struggling to catch it. I'm even using Golden Raspberry, which I normally wouldn't, you know, but I figured out that, you know, Flygon is really, really utterly difficult to catch, so much so that it takes up so much time not using the Golden Berries that I will just, okay, forget it, I'll just use Golden Berries to catch this, like, seriously, since I technically still want the Candy XL. And you guys can see it's still not staying in the ball, like, come on! <sighs> so, his stuff. Okay, excuse me, I missed the excellent troll, but make sure you stay in the ball. Oh my god. Yep, guys. This is the struggle that you face when you're trying to catch a stupid uh, dragonfly-looking Pokemon. And uh, excuse me, I'm the ball got knocked away. Okay. I still have five balls left. So, um... Okay, focus. I swear, man. This is worse than catching a stupid, you know, legendary Pokemon. And I'm, uh, yeah, I'm missing all the excellent throws. Like, come on. It shouldn't be this, this difficult. The circle is like orange after you fed the golden berry and not red, you know. The circle is red, obviously, it's going to be more difficult to catch. And yeah, it went down. Okay, the fly got moved down. Ah, come on. Oh my god, seriously. But anyway, we got a guaranteed candy XL. Not a guaranteed candy XL, but two since it is a third stage evolution Pokemon. We got an extra one for from that. Awesome, and uh, yeah, looks like we got to um, do those two Xerneas raids, man, and as and Esper raids, man. Alright, we're just gonna do the two Xerneas raids, and I believe my vacuum cleaner is almost uh, ready to be used because I charged it for a while. I mean, I need to charge it for three and a half hours, but I guess charging it for like maybe a few minutes allows me to use it for a while. I'm actually kind of itchy to like use it. I like cleaning. Um, stuff cleaning uh, my room and whatsoever it's just that I wanted something better and not using the broom and the dustpan which the dust would just fly everywhere which isn't too good also yeah anyway um, back to vacuuming well guys the vacuum cleaner seems to be still out of juice yeah I think I'm gonna let it charge and then use it later or tomorrow anyway let's go ahead and check this out mm-hmm it's not a handle it's fine catch Alright guys, we caught the Venusaur, nice, and what Venusaur? Caught the Xerneas, I was reading the message from my friend. <laughs> she apologized for using heat trends for the Venusaur. <laughs> anyway, we caught the Xerneas and uh, let's see, we got red, oh my god, we missed another, I guess, another, um, ah, Bonita, it's okay. We got people luring the place for us, really nice, that's a good thing. Anyway, we've got another raid. I'll send more invites out. Well guys, the good thing is that the rain has finally stopped. But, I think I'm just gonna finish the video over here and then, uh, oh look, 2106. If the last two digits was flipped, 2160, that would be a hundo. Uh -huh, so I'm gonna complete the video here and there are two tier one eggs they are hatching. So hopefully, you know, they will be ponitas for us yeah i guess i am just gonna do one raid with you guys because i was so unlucky to have missed two ponita raid invitations from my friends but it's totally fine i mean seriously guys i've done more than a hundred ponita raids already ever since the shiny was released and i've not gotten the shiny yet so yeah <laughs> it is what it is sometimes you get it sometimes you don't but it's definitely not as bad as my Gibbo, you know, um, raid. Which I'll explain to you guys uh, during the Gibbo com day next month. Yeah. Uh, all in all, I do not have a Hando Gibbo yet. That, that's all I will say. So anyway, we have yeah, two of the pink eggs that are hatching in the next uh, 11 minutes. So I guess I'll do another Flygon or do another Mawau. I mean, I want Candy XL for Mawau since there'll be Mega Mawau. And it's quite hard to get a uh, Mawau Candy XL also. But there's a chance that it may go into 12 kilometer eggs in the future. I'm not too sure. Mm -hmm. I will see how. I'll do this raid. 
You know guys, it's been a while since I last got a shiny Mawa from a raid. Alright, it's gonna be a while longer till I actually get the next one. It's okay. Next. Well guys, looks like we are in luck. You guys wanna know why? Look at that. We got a Galarian Ponyta from the egg hatch. Awesome! Hopefully we're lucky enough to get a shiny and I'm gonna private group this so I can invite my friends. Yeah, because there are a lot of people doing the Galarian Ponyta raids. I'm just gonna randomly pick them. Yeah, everybody wants to get the shiny man. <laughs> you know guys, this Pokemon reminds me of My Little Pony and I just want to tell you guys something that was really funny. A friend of mine from overseas, he actually messaged me like a few months ago when, you know, the Galarian Ponyta was released into the game and his daughter was saying to him like, he want, she wanted his her, her dad to actually raid the Galarian Ponyta because it looks like, you know, the <laughs> My Little Pony and she really liked the pony a lot. But uh, looks like uh, I don't like this pony at all because uh, it's not shiny. Seriously guys, more than a hundred raids really. I, I still can't get over the fact that I've done over a hundred raids. And the worst part is that I know a lot of people on Twitter who have gotten their shiny Galarian Ponyta within less than 20 raids, including my girlfriend. She got it I think on her first or second raid only. The morning when you know the Gal Galarian Ponyta had a shiny release, she got it. <sighs> and I'm here, you know, trying my best to get it and I'm gonna wait for one more egg to hatch this particular one over here. If it's a Galarian Ponyta, we will do it together. If it's not, then I'll conclude the video. Okay guys, and in one second, let's see. Please be a Ponyta, please be a Ponyta, please be a Ponyta. Crap. So looks like that's the end <laughs> that I can show you guys, seriously. That's the problem about raiding, you know, tier 1 and tier 3 raids. You really do not know what you're going to get. Unlike, you know, raiding like, um, or even mega raids. Unlike raiding like legendary raids where I know that, you know, that particular tier 5 egg is going to guarantee me that particular legendary that one. Unless it's mixed in with other legendary Pokemon, that, then that really sucks. So, I'm going to head on out to um, look for more raids, but... Not before I conclude the video. So that is all that I have to show to you guys. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you guys did, don't forget to leave a like on the video. It would be much appreciated. And of course, spam in the comment section down below. Did you guys get yourself your shiny Galarian Bonita? I'm very sure many of you guys did. I'm the only one over here who have not gotten it after 100 raids. Yeah. Not including those that I've completed and gotten from the research task. So that should be around 120-ish. It's okay. I'm kind of used to this really. Alright, so with that said, I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode in the next video. But remember, the grind never ends, so let's go!